is Ellen Como from Hello Muscle. Welcome to your leg ageless workout today. It's going to be a circuit style, so one exercise right after the other. We're gonna do them once and move on to the next exercise. You are, when we get to the end, that's it, you're done. It's a 24 minute workout. There's gonna be some core in there as well. Now, if you want, when you get to the end, and if you still have energy and your legs are still raring to go, go ahead and rewind and do it a second time. It's up to you. I'm so excited you're ending your fourth week with me. I would love to know some of your results over on our Facebook page. I would love to hear from you. You can always private message me there too if you need to. And ask me any questions. I'm always available for you or for coaching. So let me know. We are going to be, I think I already said it, but I'm going to say it again, 50 seconds in the workout, 10 second rest. Modifications, I will tell you as they come up. You know you have your mat, your water, your towel, and a medium weight. That's all you need, or no weight. Remember, no weight too. If you don't have a weight and you're trying to get into a muscle and you're having trouble, remember just ball those fists and that's it. Just to create that weight for, or create that tension for your leg. Okay, are we ready? I'm ready. Um, I'm gonna stop talking so we can work out. First move, you're going to start here and you're gonna come down and up into your squat. So we're just gonna go back and forth into your squat. And I'm doing three, a total of three squats. So you are doing a total of three squats back and forth. Make sure your form is on chest, your body is going back, your knees are staying in alignment, proper alignment. I might have taken an extra step there, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just moving along. Okay, grab your medium weight if you have it. We're gonna be working on your static lunges. So one leg forward, the other leg back, you're in hip width. Weight goes on the front leg, down and up, keeping your back nice and straight. You're driving through this quad right here, your booty back here. your sumo so you're cupping your weight holding it in front of you like a goblet style you're going to be up on your toes or your heels are going to be on the ground depending on your level <laughs> and how much strength you have in your legs today Feeling this inside thigh, outside thigh, booty. 
So three different areas. Keep your belly button locked into your spine. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna hold weight for this one. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, you're gonna squat and do an abduction. So squat and lift, and squat and lift. Working the inside, outside of your thigh. And when you squat, you're, off, you're working the middle of your thigh. So your whole entire thigh area, along with your booty, is working. Remember, when you lift your leg up, you're controlling it all the way down. Don't let it fall. Keep your belly button locked into your spine on this. The reason why I didn't hold my weight is because of coming down and lifting. Sometimes that weight can get in the way of the full range of motion, so that's why I put it down. Okay, you're gonna grab your weight on this. Hold it in a goblet style or on your leg. Well, actually, just hold the goblet style. Down and up. Do your reverse lunge. If you're gonna do your reverse lunge, just coming back and tapping, that's when you would put your weight on your front leg. But if you are lifting your knee, you're holding it goblet style. Another modification would be just to come back, half up, tap back if you need to. Ten seconds, and then you're gonna go into the other leg. Excellent job. Now, you can hold your weight, not hold your weight. We're gonna go into side lunges. So you're gonna come out, and you can come up if you want. If you're gonna hold your weight, hold it goblet style. If not, you can do this with no weight. If you want, you can do your side lunge and tap, too, so you don't have to lift your leg if you are getting fatigued from this workout. This workout we're working the whole entire time with a small amount of rest. So you're definitely getting your cardio in. But we're switching and changing your moves, your exercises to use your muscles in different ways. And that means also your joints in different ways. So it allows your joints and your muscles to stay fresh as we move forward. That's why you don't need the long rest in between. Little secret <laughs> about how I built this workout today. Okay, put the weight 
way down, you're gonna do a squat with a forward kick. This requires balance, so if you can't do it, just stick with your squats. So you squat, kick, squat, and kick with the other side. If you can't do the kick, just stay in your squat. Make sure you're keeping your legs hip width because as you're lifting your legs, they might start inching closer to each other. So you want to do a check and make sure that's not happening. Okay, now moving on to an eight count forward lunge. What we're going to do is do one forward lunge, hold for eight counts, another turn around and come back the other side. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn around. Start with the same first leg that you started the other way. Mine was my left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back. Same left side. One, two, keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, I'm gonna hit the timer. So you're gonna get that 10 second rest. So we go into the next move and that's curtsy lunges on one side and then the other. So it's all gonna be on one side, all the other. So you curtsy and tap up. Okay, other side. This is our last standing move of the day. So after this, we're gonna go into the booty. Here we go. Curtsy down and up. Okay, down on all fours, here we go. You can be on your forearms or on your hands, your palms. You're gonna bring your leg in and donkey. Working that area on the bottom of your booty where it joins your hamstring, your leg. So it is the insert. That insert of your hamstring originate of your booty.
Laying on your side, bottom leg is slightly bent, the front one comes forward, your palms are right here on the mat, and you are going to lift and lower, keeping your foot flexed. Okay, coming back on all fours, same leg. You're going into a full range of motion with your foot flexed, controlling it all the way down. So up and control, tap. Up, tap. Keep your belly button locked into your spine. Back is nice and strong. Focus on the activation of your booty. Okay, now you're gonna go into your grapefruit on the same leg. It's visualizing that you have a great fruit inside your booty. Your toe can be pointed. The bottom of your foot should be facing the ceiling. Short range of motion, focusing all on that booty. I mean, it should be shaking right now. When you're visualizing that grapefruit inside and all the muscles are squeezing that grapefruit in your booty. Are you shaking? Woo. Stay with me, we're almost done. You've got about six seconds to go, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna turn around, now we're gonna start with the other leg, the donkey. We're gonna go through all four exercises with the other leg now. So in, straighten it up. Belly buttons is fine. Activating that booty. Now you're gonna lay on your side. Bottom leg is bent slightly, the top leg comes forward, foot is flexed, and you're going to lift and lower that leg. You're feeling the outside of the booty and the inside, outside of your thigh as well. And there's also a little oblique, your waistline, so you have a lot of different muscles working with this one exercise. Okay, 
stay back on all fours. You're going to go into your full range of motion with your foot left.
Legs out. I'm going to turn the timer off. The traffic. Okay, legs. Just stretch your torso. Inhale, blow it out. Inhale, and then when you blow it out, let all the air out. And then you're going to take your belly button and you're going to draw it up towards your spine. So it looks like this. So you can inhale and exhale. And as you're doing that, now take your belly button and draw it up to your spine. You can even see my hips come up and hold. Making this very tight in here. Inhale, exhale, and now draw your belly button into your spine. Stop, rewind, and do it again if you have a lot of energy. Now you're going to see as the weeks go on, you're going to see these workouts more and more where the, they're going to be between 25 and 30 minutes, uh, but it's going to be boom, boom, boom. And the first month, why I spent time and the workouts were longer was because I really wanted you to get used to the moves and the exercises to the form. So it was kind of like a booster month. But now that you're getting these exercises down, you're gonna be able to get through it with a lot more fluidity. So 28 to 30 minutes, five days a week of following through with these exercises and adding weight and adding weights to your hands, you're gonna notice that's gonna be plenty to keep your body fit, healthy. You're gonna be losing weight if you're eating right. <laughs> and you are gonna to start to notice muscles where you didn't have them before. And you're going to start to notice that you can maybe pick up something that you never did before, like going in and picking up, you know, a pile, a bag of dog food. That was, uh, that was a story that one of my clients told me. She came running in the gym one day, all excited that she was at Costco and she could pick up the bag of dog food all by herself. She didn't need help anymore because she now had the strength to do it. So you're going to start to notice that you're able to do things and you're going to be trusting and have more confidence in your body as we go on. But you don't need to, you know, 48 minutes to an hour all the time. Now, I'm going to sprinkle those in there for you because there's going to be times that they work in the week that I plan for you. But look for more exercises like the one you did today, and I hope you love today's workout. So, if you, and again, like if you have more energy, I hope you already stopped it by now and you're already starting back and doing it one more time. And that's always an option on all the workouts. You can rewind and do them again if you have all the if you have the energy to do it, and you feel like you want more. 
So thank you for letting me serve you with these workouts. Have a wonderful, blessed day.